She became a national champion in college. She ran in the Olympic trials in LA, in Houston. And of course, she's run Boston. But on a recent windy weekend in March, I invited Lauren Philbrook back to where it all started, Hopkinton High School. So Lauren, tell me, what's it like being back here at Hopkins in High School? Oh, it's great. So many good memories here. I love this track. love being here. It's good to be home. It's a very unique experience to be able to be a uh, runner in Hopkinton, I think, because there's a lot of appreciation for runners here. And obviously, every marathon a year, we felt like a particular attachment to that being on the track, going out and supporting all the runners there, too. It has been pretty snowy and cold, but I, I like it. I like winter, so I don't mind too much. Um, a lot of treadmill workouts, a lot of indoor track workouts this year because there was just a lot of mornings I woke up and there's too much snow on the roads, but I'm hoping that's making me mentally tougher. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, what do you say we hit the track? Yeah. All right, so the last time you ran Boston was? Okay, and what brings you back this year to try another track at Boston? Um, uh, it's my favorite marathon, so I really like to do it as many years as I can. I was sad to miss it last year, uh, so I really just wanted to come back and give it another try. And someone who uh, lived in Hopkins for a long time, uh, you got a chance to see the race from the sidelines, but what was, what's it been like to be part of it? It's absolutely incredible to be part of it. It's even more amazing than I had imagined as a child watching at the starting line every year. Um, I really hadn't seen much of the course further down because I'd always watched the starting line. So getting to experience the later parts of the course, Wellesley, Boston College, um, all the excitement there, all the cheering, it's just, it's incredible. It's my, my favorite marathon by far. Absolutely love it. And now you've done the Olympic trials twice, but you, uh... You have qualified for the next one, and they also are in Atlanta. So, uh, just knowing that you've uh, done the trials before, what's that experience going to be like for you this time uh, next February? Um, both times, I was surprised by what and how much I loved it. I guess I should say. So the first time I went, it was just so neat to be there with these professional athletes that you look up to and actually get to see them kind of in their element make the Olympic team and then the second time was it was also really special because I went with a lot more friends that I had known friends that had also qualified and that was just so much fun to share that experience together too so I'm looking forward to both of those things for Atlanta both being there with my friends and then also getting to see the professional athletes who makes the team I think it'll be really exciting and I also really love Atlanta it's a really fun city and I'm really what about Boston this year? You have any specific goals for the race? Um, I want to have a strong race. Uh, as I mentioned, I hadn't done a marathon since the end of 2017, so I'm really just looking forward to being back and doing one, um, doing it well, hopefully. Um, and I would really like, if, if it was a good weather day, to run under 243. That was the time I'd run at CVM. I was hoping I'd run a little faster. Okay, watch the ice there. <laughs> and as we get closer to the race, uh, what sort of nerves are starting to build up for you? Because I know, you know, you do all these miles. It takes weeks and months. But uh, what sort of feelings do you have uh, in your in your brain right now? I guess. Um, I I am getting pretty nervous for it, especially because it's been a while since I've done one. I. And being back here, I can feel the nerves building a little bit more because it feels more real when I'm back home in Hopkinton. But there's also a lot of excitement there too. I've uh, been training for a few months through the pretty cold and snowy winter in Hamilton. And I'm looking forward to hopefully a chance to have a good race. Okay, that sounds good. Well, I hope you do have a good race. Uh, thanks very much for your time and good luck with your training. Thank you.